So 28th of April, my device, my third generation Fi TV Cube receives a brand new update. Is this the dreaded Vega OS we've all been fearing? Well, I can tell you straight away, it definitely isn't that. This is just an incremental update. Even though I do have an article which is headlined, Amazon Fi TV will end app side loading later this year. Now we'll share the article in just a second as soon as this update finishes on my device but i do have to say this article is very very misleading or this headline is very misleading even though they are quoting AFTV news and i will give you three main reasons why i think anybody that's interested in side loading the kodi application their favorite third-party streaming application all of you guys have nothing to worry about for these three main reasons Okay, let this update finish. Let me then restart my device and let's see exactly what's changed on there. Okay, my device is now restarting. Now, I will say that this article was posted on cordcutternews.com. It's a fairly well-known website, so I was quite surprised when they released an article like this. But quickly, we can see on my device, my device has fully updated. We can see I'm back to my standard, most familiar Android home screen, standard Fire OS. I can go over to the settings go to my Fi TV. We can see some of this layout did change in a previous update. So for example, my Fi TV is now more near the top. Network is also right at the beginning. Okay, we can see there was an update to the kids application, which I'm not interested in. Let's go to my Fi TV. And we can see today as of the 28th of April, my device is now running that version there. So nothing has changed. And I can say one more time that since using my first Fi Stick, which was the first generation Fi Stick, Never has there ever been in the history of these Amazon devices where they've changed the version of Android. They've never even gone from Fire OS 5 to Fire OS 6 or 6 to 7 or 7 to 8, which is why I can categorically say they're never going to go from Fire OS to Vega OS. It's just not going to happen. So my device looks the same. Let's now jump over to this article. And here you see it guys directly on Cool Cutting News. Amazon Fire TV will reportedly end app side loading support as we know it this year. So again, very sensational headline. Amazon has confirmed that its Fire TV lineup will transition from Android based Fire OS to the new in-house system called Vega OS later this year. Now, the reason why this is very misleading is they're not actually saying anything about the existing devices which are out there. So your current Fire Sticks, Fire TVs, Fire TV Cubes, all those devices, the ones already running Fire OS, there's no mention of exactly what will happen to them. The way this article is written, it implies that those devices will automatically change to Vega OS and that's just not going to happen. So this move, which has been rumored since 2023, will eliminate the ability to sideload Android apps onto the new Fi TV devices, which is a long-term hallmark for tech enthusiasts and power users. Now, this is the key part where they're saying that Elias from AFTV News and a former member of the Amazon Fire TV team sounded the alarm about the implications of this transition. In a recent statement, he said, none of the apps you currently sideload would run on Vega OS. We don't know if sideloading is even possible on Vega OS, but even if it is, there will have to be apps that are specifically made for Vega OS, which currently do not exist. This is a big statement, but the reason why it's misleading is nobody's going to buy Vega OS with the intention of sideloading because it's been said from day one because it's not running Android, your typical Android sideloading is just not going to be possible anymore. So that shouldn't really be a surprise to anybody. But the way the article mentions it, it kind of implies that your current device will change to Vega OS and then all of your previously sideloaded Android applications are not going to work anymore, which really is nonsense and just doesn't make any sense because again, nobody's going to buy Vega OS with the intention of sideloading. We just want to ensure that our current devices can continue to sideload, which I do believe they will. And I will show you exactly why after this. And this makes a bit more sense where he says that if you rely on sideloaded apps, then you don't want to buy a Fire TV running Vega OS. So again, that's the key part. So I'm happy using my Fire TV, my Fire TV Cube because they're running Android OS, Fire OS. I'm not going to buy a Fire TV that's running Vega OS. Maybe in the future, they will release some you know, budget or some cut down version, a low power device running Vega OS, but I have no interest in that. I'm happy with my Android based Fire OS, Fire TV devices, and they're the ones I do believe will continue allowing you to sideload. Let me now share three main reasons why I believe this is not going to impact anybody that currently uses a Fire TV device today and somebody that loves sideloading. Well, the first one is the promise of Amazon security updates. So directly on the Amazon website, we can clearly see that these devices, which are currently sold by Amazon, how long the Amazon will guarantee that your device will continue to receive software updates. So for example, if you have the 4K Max, your device will continue receiving Android software updates, nothing to do with Vega, 
up to 31st of December 2029. And that's the same for the standard 4K streaming device. It's the same for the Fire Stick Lite, the 4K Max first gen, and it's the same for the Fire TV Cube. So those devices, if you have those devices, nothing's going to change on your device at least up to the year 2029. So we're talking about another, you know, four or five years, you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. And I'm sure by then there'll be lots of other devices out there. So the fact that Amazon are promising these updates, it just confirms that your device will not change to Vega OS. You're going to continue running Android on your device. And we can see even on my own device, my own original 4K Fire Stick, here we can see all of my devices currently registered. And we can see here my original 4K Fire Stick registered on the 14th of March, 2020. So five years old, this device here, if I click on that, even this device you can see has got guaranteed software updates on Android right through to 2027. So another two years, no stress, this original device will carry on running Android. So this really should be enough for anybody to understand that their current device is going to stay running Android and they have nothing to worry about. That's the first reason. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geo-locked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. The second reason is the fact that Amazon actually announced Android TV version 14 for their upcoming devices. So why would they announce a brand new Android version if they're going to completely ditch Android and move over to Vega OS? It doesn't make sense. And the reason for that is it just shows that they are going to stick with Android for the majority of their devices. But most likely in the future, they will release some devices, maybe some budget devices running Vega OS. This article I'm sure you've seen before anyway, but it just confirms that Amazon announced that they're going to have an Android 14 based Fire TV device running on API level 34. And you can see this is actually directly on the Amazon documentation page where you can see they're talking about Fire OS versions. So the next device above Fire OS 8 will be running Android version 14. So again, just confirms Android is not out of the window. They've got new devices planned running this latest version of Android. And the last reason, which I did actually mention before briefly, is just the fact that in the history of these Amazon devices, these Amazon Fire TV, TV-based devices, never has there been an update where they've actually changed your version of Android from Android 7 to Android 8 or Android 8 to Android 9. They've always stuck onto the same version. One obvious reason for that is you can imagine when your device is going through an update. I mean, there've been some cases in the past where certain updates, because they were a bit large, actually ended up corrupting the device. So imagine pushing a whole new OS, Vega OS, through an Amazon update. You have so many devices failing. Imagine there's a power cut. Imagine there's a power surge. Imagine somebody just switches off the device during an update. It will just cause massive, massive headache for Amazon. So I just can't see them ever pushing out any kind of software update which will change the version of your Android, let alone actually changing your whole OS going from Android to Vega OS. It's just not going to happen, guys. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I just thought I'd share this article with you because I do think there's lots of confusion out there. I do think people are worried, but mark my words when I say your current Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, Fire TV device will stay running Android. You have nothing to worry about. Tech Doctor said that on the 20th of April, 2025, you really do have nothing to worry about. But I will say that if you do want to protect your privacy, if you do want to stay safe online, right now you can get a super special offer for a ridiculously fast VPN where you can get total protection for all of your devices, all of your applications, your add-ons, your APKs, your streaming apps, all of them can be covered with the VPN and they also give you unlimited connections. What that means is it doesn't matter if you've got three Fire Sticks, 10 Android TVs, two laptops, all of those devices, unlimited devices, will be covered with a single license. You get blazing fast speeds, so zero buffering, and they also have a verified no logs policy. So they're not logging anything, they're not monitoring anything. You really can stay anonymous whilst using this VPN. You can access all of your favorite applications, your Netflixes, your BBC iPlayers, your Hulus. All of your streaming applications can be unlocked by using this VPN. And to get all of that for just over $2 a month, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel, so many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.